In this question, design a pair of spur gears to transmit power equal to 20 kilowatts at 1440 rpm. Further, teeth are of 20 degree, 14.5 degree involute and center to center distance is approximately is close to 400 mm. What is center to center distance? We should see in the coming slides. And both gears are made of car steel and transmission ratio is 4 is to 1. So these are the essential details. Now see what is center to center distance. When center to center distance is given, if the diameter of smaller gear is pinion that is D1 and the larger gear is D2, then center to center distance will be some of the radius or can be written in terms of diameters D1 plus D2 by 2. Further, it is given transmission ratio is 4 is 1. So the ratio of larger one to smaller one diameter d2 by d1 is given as 4 m. Taking these two equations d1 plus d2 by 2 is given as 400 mm and taking these two equations we will get approximate value of d1 equal to 160 mm and d2 equal to 640 mm. d2 equal to 640 mm. Now, we go to the next step. We have to find a suitable material for it. It is given that both gears are made of cast steel. So, for cast steel, we have a number of materials for cast steel. From page 234, table 12.7, we have two varieties of cast steel that is 0.2 percentage carbon untreated and second one is heat treated one. If we select the second one that is heat treated one, we will take this value, we will take the 193.2, this value we will take. Going to the previous slide, we will select sigma d1 and sigma d2 both equal to 193.2 and its brilliant hardness number is given as 250 bh. So take that value. So first step is over and second step we can seen in the previous session that if both are made of same area pinion will be weaker element so we have to design the pinion it is very important. Now we are going to design the pinion and this is our main step we have to find the module. Similar equation we are using here also p equal to m equal to cube root of. So in order to avoid mistakes we can write m cube equal to 2 mt by sigma d c v k capital Y z where what is mt mt is the torque transmitter torque transmitter so if you know the power and the rpm we can directly find the torque so uh, we can write this equation mt equal to 60 p by 2 pi n where power equal to 20 kilowatts since we have to get the torque in newton millimeter i multiply it by 10 power 6 so it is newton millimeter per second similarly rpm we will substitute in 1440 rpm that is a diameter is the speed of the pinion we will get mt equal to 132 into 10 power 3 newton mm we have already find the value of sigma d that is 193.2 from the data book 193 newton per mm square then cv in this case velocity is not velocity equal to pi d1 n1 by 60 because we are designing the pinion pi into diameter is 160 mm approximate value n1 equal to 1440 divided by 60 you will get that value equal to 15 meter per second. So from the equations were given in the data book we can find that velocity factor cv there are number of factors given for cv velocity less up to 
8 meter per second is this 3.05 by 3.05 plus v for velocity 8 to 13 it is 4.58 by 4.58 plus v since our velocity is greater than 13 we will select this value 6.1 by 6.1 plus v so c v equal to this is our equation 6.1 by 6.1 plus v since our velocity is between 13 to 20 meter per second so after finding substituting the velocity equal to 15 meter per second we will get that value equal to 0.28 now values y equal to capital y equal to pi y we don't know the value of y then k equal to 11 m from equation 12.5 f b equal to 9.5 to 12.5 m so k equal to b by m k equal to 11 take k equal to 11 for all the cases for design of spark gears if not given in the question capital y equal to pi y that is given in equation 12.5 b page 204 z equal to d by m so we are designing the pinion so we can write in terms of pinion d1 by m equal to 160 by m at present we don't know the value of z but we should know that minimum value of z should be greater than 32 for 14.5 degree involute which we obtain from page 230 table 12.4 now we are going to find this equation we are substituting all these values in this equation m equal to m cube equal to 2 into 32 into 10 power 3 that is our empty torque in newton millimeter divided by sigma d that is 193.2 sigma d value of cv equal to 0.28 cv k equal to 11 we have found that value k equal to 11 small k into capital Y that is pi Y into instead of Z you substitute in terms of module 160 by M so one of the M will get cancelled out and we will get final equation M square Y equal to 0.8835 so for some unknown value of M we will get M square V equal to 0.8835 we are finding that value by trial and error method so I am rewriting that value M square Y equal to 0.8835 now here we have to substitute module in millimeters we start with 2 mm 2 millimeters so Z equal to D1 by M D1 by M equal to 160 by M we will get 160 by 2 equal to 80 and remember our minimum value was 32 for minimum value should be greater than so one should be greater than 32 for 14.5 so in this case it is safer it is 80 now Lewis form factor what is the Lewis form factor y equal to for Lewis form factor we can see the equation for 14.5 degree involute this is our equation 0.124 minus 0.684 by Z 6.84 by Z substitute this value Z equal to 80 mm you will get Y equal to 0.115 taking M square Y 2 square into this value 0.115 it is only 0.46 but our required value is higher than that our required value is 0.8835 so 2 mm is not safe we go to the next one 3 mm is said will be equal to 160 by 3 it comes around to 53.33 so we can either take 53 or 54 in this case I am taking 53 so y will be equal to 0.124 minus 0 0.684 by instead of Z I will substitute 53 y1 will be equal to 
triple one and m square wave will be equal to three square into point triple one will be equal to point triple nine and which is greater than the required value that is point eight eight three five greater than point eight eight three five so this value a module equal to three mm it is a safe value which can withstand this law after finding the module we can find the number of teeth so d1 z1 equal to d1 by m or d1 equal to m z1 what was the value of z1 z1 equal to 53 z1 into our module is 3 mm so it is 159 mm so with regard to the previous in this question on the original value was about 160 mm and corrected value will be 159 mm similarly we can find the value of d2 d2 equal to m z2 equal to z4 4 z2 into 3 and z2 equal to 212 53 into 4 into 3 that is 6 36 mm so exact center to center distance center to center distance will be d1 plus d2 by 2 new value will be equal to 159 Plus six thirty-six by two. That will come around to three ninety-seven point five. Now we can find the dimensions of the gear and pinion using table twelve point three, page two twenty-nine. For fourteen point five degree denoted, we can find all the certain and certain term. There are some thirteen or fourteen values. We can find all those values in terms of module. Now, our pre-final step is find to how to find dynamic load F D. And the equation for F D that is equation twelve point one two page two hundred and seven that is given here. F D equal this is our equation F D equal F T plus. Here. we can see that cb plus ft it is a common value in the numerator and the denominator and k3 is about 20.67 ft equal to 2 mt by d we can find from here ft equal to 2 mt by d we know the diameter we know the torque then k3 is known velocity is known b is known b equal to 11m c can be found and substituting all this equation we can find the value ft so in this step F D equal to I am rewriting that equation. F T plus instead of K three I am directly writing twenty point six seven. Twenty point six seven velocity into F T plus B C. Six seven velocity plus root F T plus B C. In order to simplify the solution, I am finding first F T F T equal to two M T. By d, since um, we are designing the pinion, I am finding in terms of diameter d1, 2 into 132, 23 divided by. We found this value mt divided by diameter d1 equal to new value is 159 mm, which will come around 1660 newton. Then velocity is known. B equal to 11 m, 11 m equal to 33. Millimeters. Velocity is known. Velocity equal to fifteen point zero seven meters per second. Pi d one n one by sixty. We have to find c. That is the important value. To find this value of c, we can go to that graph. Here we can see that velocity is somewhere around fifteen meter per second. So if you are 15 meter per second, that value will be about 0.03 f. Permissible error f will be equal to 0.03. And taking this f equal to 0.03 in the table, we have 14.5 degree. This is the table. Table 12.12 for steel and steel 14.5 degree involute for 0.03 k c equal to 330.9. So C equal to 330.9, and substituting all these values, we'll get 
both are made of steel so steel and steel for 14.5 degree we have to select 1.3 so 1.275 after 1.27 it is 1.3383 that is the required value for that pinion and the gear should be heat treated to 350 bhn what are the initial hardness 250 hardness so in order to use this value 250 bhn should be heat treated to 350 bhn for both pinion and the gear so we sell we see right here pinion and gear heat rate 250 to 350 bhn so that we can use the new value of k that is the 1.383 1.383 substituting this value in this equation and in this equation a we will get fw equal to 8395 into 1.383 to 1.383 that value will 11610 11610 newton so our new value FW is greater than FD. What is the value of FD? FD was only 10,923. 10,923. So our design is safe.